What's up, dudes? Max here. So, with the latest update to Dragon Ball Fighters, we got a healthy dose of brand new cinematic finishers in the case of a couple new characters that have been introduced to the game. I did not intend on doing a Rate the Super for this, but it kind of naturally happened as we checked out every single dramatic finisher that's available in the game as of right now, rating them on a scale of 1 to 10. Now, this is not going to include the level 3s of the game because I feel that's kind of a different category, but this is going to include all the dramatic and slash cinematic finishers that you're used to seeing in Dragon Ball Fighters. so let's begin. Okay. Holy shit! This is... This is fucking amazing! <laughs> Holy shit! Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Sweet Jesus, that's the best one! That's the best one in the game! He goes, he goes all fucking Voltron on some- That's the best one in the game! Like, oh my god! I would definitely personally give that one a 10 out of 10. Alright, let's see what we got. How good is this one? I am a god. I am justice given form. I am the world! The most noble, splendid, immortal, and supremely powerful god! <laughs> Damn mortals! It's over. Final. Yeah! <laughs> these are so much fun, dude. I wish they found a way to incorporate these more. Uh, that one was really cool. I give that one about. I give that one about a seven. It's a lot of talking, you know, and that's okay because it's building up the fact that. Zamasu is thinking is holier and mightier than thou and just gets decked in the face. I mean, I think it's I think it's got a lot of character and personality, but in terms of cool actionness, man, dude, if we're comparing it to that Trunks one, holy shit, dude. That Trunks one was like a 10 out of 10. And it's got asshole! Ugh. And he remembers the, the blood of his comrades. And from what I remember, this actually isn't canon. So this is just like fan-ass fantasy right now. They're pretty sure Frieza bodies the shit out of Bardock, wow. I saw a gif one time of Frieza doing that motion over and over again to, uh, you spin me right round. It was very good. That is dope as fuck. That one's really good. See, the only- so the only part of that lore I know, because I don't- I haven't, I'm not seeing the scene specifically, is that Frieza essentially body, bodies Bardock a while ago, which is why Bardock really hates Frieza, and there is not a moment where he goes, like, where he goes Super Saiyan, like, that apparently doesn't happen with Bardock, and, and it's a thing that is, like, direct fan service here, and is not representative in the show. Uh, I'd give that one a 9 out of 10, just because it's like, what if this happened this way? I think that's pretty sick. It was Vanish, okay. I knew it the whole time. This will change everything. Both my fate and yours. Frieza, get your dirty finger out of here. This is the end of a lie. <laughs> oh no, this is sad. Oh no. Oh god. Actual cannon. It's sad. <laughs> it actually is a dramatic finish. Uh, I think it's really good. 
I think I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. I mean, it, it's mostly characters like... It's mostly characters talking to each other, but it, it actually does have a dramatic and emotional impact because he sees his... He sees his damn son fighting him in the future. Um, and that's where all those memes come from of somehow Bardock remains alive and sees Frieza hanging out and just chilling with Goku and their buddy buddy in Dragon Ball Super and Frieza's just, Bardock's just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Not my cannon. Not my cannon. Ugh. Let's see what we got. Brothers. Is that all you've got? Don't give up now. Ah, it's really cool camera work. What? <laughs> Into the fucking sun. Into the goddamn sun. Uh, I'm not gonna give it a 9 out of 10. I give that one an 8. I still think it's really good. Uh, and it, it, it's, once again, the a lot of the supers in this game aren't crazy action-packed spectacles. There's stuff that hark back to, like, story elements, like character, character interaction moments, which is great because, believe it or not, it's not as much the fighting in the fucking... Super Saiyan buffness that a lot of people like about Dragon Ball. It's the character relationships and how long they've been going on for. All right, Brole. Ow! Please, give me a break here. Let's see this. Uh, cool ass camera work, man. Holy shit. Did he rewrite his DNA or some shit? He literally punched him to space dust. Um, I'd, I'd still give it... I like the camera work of it. I like that cool-ass shot of Broly and Goku, like, facing off against the against the Earth. Um, I'm gonna give it an 8. I'm gonna give it an 8. It's got a lot of cool-ass moments. I think it ends kind of, like, quickly with, like, single punch into space dust, but everything else about it is really damn cool. It yeah. is not a crime to fight for a just cause. Let the anger built up inside you flow freely. Please protect the plants, the animals. <laughs> protect this world, I love. You prattled on long enough, you miserable failure. This is like shot for shot, just like the moment in the show. Little boy doesn't want to fight, he just wants to save his friends! Ready? Neat. Ugh, please work, please work, please work. How dare you! How dare you! Sick. Yeah. <laughs> I love this shit. I love the super extreme, like, deformed faces and stuff. That's cool looking. I did it. Dad. Good. It's emotional. Harry's resonance. The dickhead died. Little boy did it. His real father wasn't there, though. Um, I'm gonna give that one a nine. Yeah, I'm gonna give the one a 9 out of 10. I liked it a lot. I like the crazy deformation and the, the camera work was especially really good on that one. If the camera's work's gonna be good on all of them, but I still give it a 9. Uh, probably, probably my second favorite one so far. No, don't freeze up! Go! Music is definitely not what I was expecting. <laughs> the music kicked in right as soon as he went Super Saiyan. That's cool. <laughs> now I'm mad! 
There is there is 17 A's in mad. Uh, 900% mad. Ugh, please God, please God. Yeah, look at that. First try. It's over. You idiot! No, it's you moron, that's what it is. I don't think he's coming back. Wait, yes he is. <laughs> Koku's just stern as shit! He's like, man, I gave him a chance, but he's so much of a shithead. Uh, I give that one a 7. I give that one a 7. It's, it's good and it's like, hella, hella story related, but I still give it... It's it's a seven. It's it's really fun though. It's fun. Most of these like, like I'm. It's not comparing them to all the other finishers of other games. It's just staying in this game. And we started off with a really good one. Like we started off with a ten out of friggin' ten. So by comparison to that one, that's kind of what our primer is. <laughs> Time to show you how hard I've been training. <laughs> they'll they'll piss off. <laughs> it looks like I missed one. Yes. All right, all right, it's cute. It's cute. Give it to me. Yeah. Not cannon. Ugh, you're seeing way too much. Guess I showed you I'm not playing around, didn't I? So. Before I rate this one, we have to see the other one because they go together. Ugh. Yamcha, it's gonna be a sad day for you. What? And then they go on to have a conversation in the future about how trash Yamcha is. Uh, so the reason it's great is because that specific ending is actual canon. That's what happens in the show, and it's been memed to holy hell that Yamcha got cratered by the lamest thing. And uh, he reverses the role. The developers literally understood the meme. And because they wanted to see the dream, which is Yamcha getting the better of Nappa in this situation, they, they reversed it and gave Yamcha a victory, which is smart as shit. So I would say... Personally, for the sake of them being completely aware that the meme exists and then taking advantage of it and giving you a new crazy thing that you would never expect, that's amazing. I think that's a 10 out of 10. I think that whole thing with Krillin and everybody and all, all the Cybermen, I think it's really cool. It's not as badass and amazing as, of course, our other 10 out of 10, but just all the nods and shit are really... That, that's incredible. It's incredible that they gave a shit enough to do that. So it gets a 10 in my book. I love it. Oi! Everyone! I need you all to lend me your energy! Why don't you take this? You're really good. <laughs> Takes a little while. I hope you're reborn as someone good this time. And not a shithead. Every character needs to call every character in this in this game in this lore a shithead if they are indeed shitheads. Um, I'm gonna give that one a seven. I still say that like it's it's kind of hard to get below a seven because they're still really good and they're really epic. Um, but there are some that are clearly better than others. But I still think it's really good. It's a seven out of ten. Yeah, man. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> then, like, Beerus spares him just because Goku's a cool guy. 
I like that shot in the end a lot. Um, I like it a bit more than the other dramatic ones that don't have as much action, so I'm gonna give that one an 8. I'm gonna give it an 8. I like the fact that Beerus is, like, sort of merciful towards him as well, and they, they idolize that moment. It's kind of cool. Ugh. And I'm pretty sure when Trunks does this, he's... He's supposed to be Robo Frieza, but fuck it! That's pretty sick. Goku isn't the only Super Saiyan. There's another one right here. See, the best thing about Trunks is that he is just specifically created to be cool. Why are you helping? They what are you after? Some they they scene? literally just stuck this character into the Dragon Ball series just to have a really fucking cool character with a jacket and sword and chopping up people. Princess Trunks gets a, a 9 out of 10. I like him, and I like it a lot. Uh, this is not specifically a dramatic finisher, but it is dramatic and it is a finisher. Here we go. See <laughs> you later, asshole. Wait, he's back! Hey, asshole, you're back again? He had, to, he, had to, he had to vaporize him twice. Uh, so that one's okay. You know what, in, in, in comparison to the other ones, it's cool, but man, that's like, it's like a four. Like, if we're gonna, if we're gonna properly compare these, I mean, it's really fucking neat, but I have to be honest, like, it's not nearly as cool as the other ones, but it's mostly just a nod and not specifically a dramatic finisher, so it's kind of unfair to, to rate them against each other. This game probably has some of the best finishers in anything. It's because they take a lot of reference from, uh, like, Astro Finishers slash Destroy Attacks and other Arc System games. Uh, but just the way they're framed and how they reference everything in the show, even references that I don't know, but when you see Trunks pull out a giant fucking Voltron sword and go to town on a dude, it's like, this is incredible. Uh, I still think that one is the best one, while the other 9 out of 10s are really good. And the fact that one referenced a meme and then they reversed the meme, to surprise everybody's expectations. There's a couple of really good ones, but man, like, finishers in this game are sick. Unfortunately, they need to add a way to make these happen more often, because man, I want to see them... It'd be neat to see this stuff happen in tournament, but I guess that's what makes it special. I guess that's like summoning Shenron or getting a dramatic finish in Dragon Ball becomes a special thing because you don't see it all the time, so... Pretty dope.